Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining me for a cup of coffee today. My mug is my mortgage girlfriend's mug. I don't know if you can see it. It looks kind of bright, but um, if you don't know, I'm in the mortgage industry and I have a website called mortgagegirlfriends.com. And if you're in the industry, finance industry, or even real estate, you should check it out. It's such a great site. Um, with a big virtual retreat coming up next month. But I wanted to talk about some things I've been working on and hopefully it will help you as well. And one thing that I wanted to focus on is over the last few months, I felt like I'm not really getting everything done that I wanna get done. And we're getting close to the end of the year. We're already in September and I think it would be really easy just to start focusing on next year, but I want to really dive in and finish this year strong. And I want to make sure that when I'm writing out my business plan, which I'll start that next month, and we'll have a whole bunch of information on business planning next month. In fact, we're revamping our business planning tool, and we'll have that as a download next month, and it's, it's gonna be great, you're gonna love it. Um, but I didn't want to have the same things on my plan this year that I had last year. And how often have you done that where you just every year you're kind of writing the same things over and over even with your goals it could be the same goals and so i really wanted to make sure this year that i check those things off those are done and i have a whole new year next year of everything i want to achieve and this is my birthday month september so i do a lot of reflection leading up to it and and i, I attended an event one time and we kind of this was kind of morbid but we had to plan our funeral and what would that look like and I decided at that point that I'm not gonna work towards that it just each year when I'm having my birthday I'm gonna really give some thought and time to making sure I'm becoming that person that I know God wants me to be and that I'm meant to be and um, so this this is kind of an eating away at me like I'm not getting everything done I want to get done and my husband and I, we own a few businesses and some rentals and sometimes the weekends feel like I'm just grinding, I'm just working. And um, if, I, if I step away from work, I feel kind of guilty and I don't really enjoy the freedom because I think, well, this is a day I could have really got a lot of stuff done. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know, you probably have noticed, maybe not, <laughs> that I have really tried to take some time off and to kind of separate. And what I found is that I'm much more productive taking the time away and doing some enjoyable things and not thinking about work and just really focusing on who I'm with and being present and enjoying the people I'm around. And um, that's that's been something I've had to learn to do because I can get kind of focused on what I should get done. But also on the same hand, I've been thinking, I should be able to get more done during the week and what's going on. And so people have always said success leaves clues, right? And so that just kept popping in my head success leaves clues. So I went back through and I listened to some of the interviews from my success series. I uh, had that on my podcast the beginning of the year and I interviewed some amazing people that have so many things going on in their life, but they made time, one, to interview with, with me and so I could share it with all of you, and two, they really seemed on top of it and to be enjoying it. And so I I purposely picked a few of them and I listened to them and I looked for what they had in common. What was that common thread between them? And the one thing that really stood out to me was they were organized. They were really organized and not just with work, but with home, with life. And to me, I've always felt like I don't want to be super organized and this is crazy thoughts I had, but I thought I don't want to be super organized because I'd be too rigid and I won't enjoy the people and I won't enjoy the moment. And it actually is just the opposite. Once I started focusing on trying to become more organized, it created so much more freedom, so much more freedom for me. And I've already been able to see the results of getting a lot more, more done in a day and a week. And sometimes I think we, we under, 
We overestimate what we can get done in a day. We overestimate tomorrow all the time. Tomorrow I'll do that, tomorrow. But we also underestimate what we could get done in a month or a year. And so I've been doing a lot of reflection on that. And so I knew, I knew one, I wanted to be able to get a lot done and not have that on my list next year. And then two, how was I going to do it? And one thing that I've noticed over and over is that they're very organized. So I started working on that. I started working on becoming really organized. And on Monday nights, uh, we just finished it, but I was coaching a group of women and it was called Healthy Wealthy Women. And we just had a blast. It was so much fun. I, I am thinking of rolling that back out in October because we just had so much fun with it and we we became so much more healthy and uh, more organized in our life. But one thing we did is we really focused on decluttering, cleaning out our house, donating things to um, different organizations and really just removing the clutter. And so I think of when I get organized, I really have to declutter. and. I, if you if you walk around my house, I don't think you would think I am disorganized. I think you would think I'm really organized. However, if you start opening some of my junk drawers or you open a cupboard, you might think, okay, <laughs> there's, there's room for improvement there. And so we have, it's a work in progress, but we're really just organizing our house. And um, it's not a one and done. It's something that's ongoing and my daughter when she was moving into her new house she said my goal is that everything has its place and anytime I visit her her house is just completely organized everything is impeccable and she really believes and follows that where everything has its place and um, so I'm I'm taking her advice and everything's having its place and it feels so good to get that organized and then I went to my office outside of my home and I organized that and it felt really good. But, but like I said, it's not a one and done. This is, this is who I am now. I am becoming this person. I'm not just doing it one time to get what I want. I know, and this, this is something else that I've noticed from a lot of people that I really admire, is that you have to become that person. You have to be be that one that wants to do it. You can't, it's not just doing things once in a while, it's becoming that. And so um, I love that about them. And then two, it's, there is going to be some grind, right? And, I, and I've always thought, well, I don't want to, I want to get a lot done, but I don't want it to feel like I'm grinding every day, mind grind and learning grind and working, but we have to, that's just part of it, right? So when I'm organizing and cleaning out a cupboard or a closet, that's a little bit of a grind, but it's okay because it's getting me to my end goal. And um, the next big thing is delegate. I had to delegate. So there were some things in my life that I, I really did not enjoy doing. I love reading spreadsheets. I love seeing the data and analyzing it and taking a look at everything, but I do not like to create the spreadsheets. I do not like to take all the data and organize it. And so we hired that out. We hired somebody to do that for us, which um, we're really excited about that. And um, I think I'll just end this with, often we think that there's the secret code we have to crack. We have to crack the code to get what we want, to get the happiness, to get the success. And there's no magic code. There, there's, there's behaviors, there's changes that we have to make internally. And I would say the magic code is we have to implement. And so often we will think, well, I know what I need to do. Great, then do it. D then do it. We have to implement. And I've really, in the last several months, have been working on implementing. I'll continue to work on implementing. I have a, a, a lot of work to do myself, but it's been really fun to know exactly what I want and then research how to get what I want and then implementing to do it. And so my goal is that next year, as I said, I'm going to start my plan with a whole new list of things because this year I still got 
three and a half months, almost four months to finish out what, what I want to achieve this year. And I, I wish that for all of you, I encourage you to implement, implement this week. I'd love to hear what you're implementing and how I could help you. I'd love to help you in any way. Um, you can always email me at cindy at optimizesuccesscoaching.com and my name is C-Y-N-D-I. And I wish you a great week. Thanks for having a coffee with me this morning.